Alright, so I uh, thought I'd do a little video on what I got for Christmas that's airsoft related. This is everything I got besides a bag of BBs, which is in here, and I got GTA 5, which is a beast. But uh, anyway, airsoft related stuff only in this video. I got these uh, goggles. They're um, desert tech goggles or whatever. And um, I asked for these so that I can complete my uh, Ghost Recon loadout video. I still need a helmet for that, but these are the goggles I'll use for now. They're um, this army pattern, so yeah. They're not what I wanted because I wanted a, a little more square, but these, these are just fine, but a little more square and black, but I can always change these to black somehow. And um, they're pretty cool. They got really good sun protection up to 400 UV, and um, they're nice. They got good foam, and they got insert here with the foam so you can... Uh, have ventilation like at the bottom and keep it from fogging so these are pretty good goggles and I'm not sure this is a good brand or anything but it looks alright and this big black box is a really cool item this is actually uh, the opposite of what I said I would do because I want to do the splinter cell and the ghost recon but I actually took it in a different direction and I asked for this and it is an army of two mask pretty beast so this is the army of two mask in carbon fiber and it looks pretty cool so right after this I'm gonna do a update on the ghost recon with those goggles and a loadout video and the only change with the loadout video will be this mask and my primary so uh, this is pretty cool and uh, I think I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use this for a long time and then I'm gonna get the ghost recon and switch them up a bit but if we do FN 2000 vs F2000 I will use this mask Okay, so the last thing I got was uh, this right here, the PPKS from Walter, because of this tiny little box, it's about the size of my hand or something, and this is the James Bond pistol from Marushin, and it's got blowback, it's pretty tight. I wanted this because I wanted a pocket pistol that I can carry around in my pocket without um, the pistol grip sticking out like the Glock 23 did and it was either between this and the Glock uh, 26 from KJW or KWA. I still want to get the KWA so I can cross compatible so I can um, use it with cross compatible mags but this is pretty cool right here it's full plastic and it's made in Japan so it's really beast and I'm gonna do a review on this pistol and a review on the mask itself so uh, yeah I got this little pistol here it's really cool pretty nice I don't know if I'm gonna keep it though I'm, um, I want to start like buying a bunch of airsoft guns and selling them after I do a couple videos on them just to have more content on this channel so that's a new gun and I'll do a full review on that and uh, those are the updates uh, right now I'm gonna go and film the update for the uh, the loadout videos so I'll have this and the goggles Alright, so I made everyone a promise in the video that comes after this, which is the combat loadout video. I promised everyone in that video that I would show you in the update, which is the previous video, so you're getting a little freaky on the time here, that I would show these new goggles on the Ghost Recon loadout and how it's going so far. This is the first time I tried it out, and as I'm seeing right now, it looks very off with the green, so I don't know what I'll do with these goggles. I plan on keeping them since they were a gift, but uh, I will use them for now. Eventually I will get the helmet and I will try to make these look more on Ghost Recon than like in the games. But uh, for now these are what the goggles look like. They're basically like sunglasses, or I mean they, uh, they're tinted like sunglasses so it's going to work good in the daytime here in Arizona. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to let everyone know what this looks like, you know, because I'm trying to keep all of my subscribers updated on the whole Ghost Recon thing, so I think it's gonna look pretty good when it's done. All right, so uh, can um, watch the new video. There should be one right after this, the combat loadout video that I just now made. All right, so subscribe.